So if you're a Detroit Red Wings fan like I am, you probably saw this game and you probably knew about the crazy implications that the result of this game would have on the 2024 Stanley Cup playoff picture. The Rangers against the Red Wings, the best team in the NHL against a team that is fighting for their playoff lives. And because this game was on Sportsnet, I had it on in my household. I had this game on whilst doing other stuff. I had it on in the background. I wasn't paying too close attention, but I did pay attention to the power plays and the goals, of course. The Wings end up dropping this one in a score of four to three. And honestly, this was a hard-fought game. Like, you can't be too upset at the way everything went out. I guess if you wanted to critique particular aspects of the game, you could say, oh, the Wings couldn't get any shots on goal with the empty net, the 6-on-5 at the end of the game where they couldn't tie it up. That was a little bit sloppy. The possession game, it just wasn't the smoothest. They couldn't open up space for themselves. They end up dropping this one. 4-3. Will Cooley got everything started, Andrew Kopp tied it up, Barclay Goodrow scored two goals today, scoring the 2-1 marker as well as the 3-3 tying goal, plus Comfer and Larkin getting on the board as well. Chris Kreider ends up getting the power play marker in the third to seal the deal for New York and project themselves up to 108 points on the NHL season. Now, as we had talked about in a video earlier today, this was a huge game for the Detroit Red Wings because if they lost this game in regulation, their playoff odds would go from what was 44%-ish to about 32.8%, so they dropped tremendously from the results of this one game. However, and this is the really, really big however, when it comes to the teams that they're fighting for that playoff spot with, we talked earlier in today's show about the teams at the bottom. You've got the zeros and 0 0.1 percenters. You've got the 99 and 100 percenters. Pretty much 14 out of the 16 playoff spots are locked. It's just two remaining that really we have no idea what's going to happen. The final Metro spot and the second wild card in the East. There are four teams that are eligible for that Metro spot and a fifth team in Detroit that is eligible for that last wild card. They are all tangled in here. And the Red Wings, with their 45.3% odds, had that dropped down after the result of this game. But the part of this conversation that we didn't really acknowledge much was the fact that the other teams that the Red Wings are competing with for the postseason spot, they played too, and they all lost as well. Take a look at this. The Philadelphia Flyers drop a 4-2 regulation loss to the Buffalo Sabres. The Carolina Hurricanes defeated the Washington Capitals 4-2 as well, and then the Red Wings lost 4-3 to the Rangers. So each of these three teams, Philadelphia, Washington, and Detroit, all lost in regulation, and that is going to throw an entire monkey wrench into our understanding of the NHL playoff picture. Because not only did the Wings lose 12.5% of their playoff odds by losing this game to the Rangers in regulation, but the Washington Capitals lost 8% of their playoff odds, and the Philadelphia Flyers lost 16% of their playoff odds. The problem with this chart here that we're looking at for each of these three teams is that I'm not too sure if these numbers are encapsulating the results of the opposite games. Like, oh, this is just an isolated number if the Red Wings lose to the Rangers in regulation. This is just an isolated number if the Flyers lose to the Sabres. And this is an isolated number of the Capitals losing to the Hurricanes. But this isolated number does not coordinate with the results of the opposite games. So by the time tomorrow comes around, it's not going to look like Philadelphia has a 44% chance the Capitals have a 28% chance and the Wings have a 32.8% chance on this list right here. It'll probably look a lot different because the results of the opposite games all indirectly influence the rest of these teams and their playoff push. If anything, the Pittsburgh Penguins probably had a pretty big increase in their overall odds from 20% maybe to a little bit higher because these other three teams just crapped the bed and lost in regulation at the same time. This is not over yet, folks. We still have ourselves a very legitimate chance. Look, 
This Red Wings team is at 32.8% right now, but that does not take into account the Flyers and the Capitals. I'd say if you wanted to just rationalize everything, try to make an educated guess, the Red Wings probably have a little bit of a higher playoff percentage chance odds, maybe somewhere near the 40% range. Even if you think about it like 32.8%, like if you think of it like a casino game, 32 out of 100 is not bad odds. Like that's a one in three chance that the Wings have themselves to potentially making the Stanley Cup playoffs. And the same could be said about these other teams. The Flyers are just underneath halfway. The Capitals have the lowest percentage odds out of these three teams. And the Penguins probably have their odds increased too. Not to mention the New York Islanders who are at 36.8% to start out today. Long story short about this conversation, even though each of these games did not go the way that these teams wanted, it's not over. And particularly, it's not over because all these three teams lost. In fact, this Capitals game, I think, probably is the most interesting one of the bunch because, yeah, the Hurricanes won 4-2, the Capitals lost, but Alex Ovechkin scored his 28th and 29th goals of the season in this game. So that's really all I think Capitals fans are caring about at this point. Yeah, Ovechkin can will our team into the playoffs. He's trying to do it. He's trying to do it, but no... But ultimately, I feel like for Alex Ovechkin, if they don't make the playoffs and he has some extra time to rest, that is also okay too. We mentioned this a few times, but Ovechkin always takes time off during the regular All-Star game. So what more during the postseason? Does he really want to go out there and grind it out for the rest of the May and June period? Like, just take the rest, man. Take the rest, come back next year, and then score 30 goals in 40 games, and then be on your way to breaking the Gretzky record. That sounds great! But the loss here does impact the postseason odds in a pretty tremendous way. So if you're a fan of the Philadelphia Flyers, the Detroit Red Wings, the Washington Capitals, what are your thoughts on your teams losing and dropping the ball in regulation on one of the most important days of the 2023-2024 season for your squad? The Flyers lost 16% today because they lost, the Capitals lost 8.1%, and the Wings lost 12.5%. I can't seem to find the updated playoff odds. If there's like another website, anybody wants to go out there, let me know in the comments, and hey, feel free to do that. But moneypuck.com had everything updated as of this morning. It's now going to be tremendously different for this group of five, just considering what happened in today's game. So if you're a fan of any of these teams, what are your thoughts on how you played? If you're a Wings fan, what are your thoughts on the 4-3 loss against New York? I'll say it one more time. The game was fine. I think if you play that game a hundred times, you won't get the same result each time. In fact, let's go out there and see. We're on Money Puck anyways. Might as well, right? So in terms of the deserve to win a meter, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um... The Wings hung in there. I'll say that. Man, should they not have deserved to have won this game. Uh, expected goals charts, yeah. So the Rangers were absolutely torching Detroit. Alex Lyons standing on his head, thwarting away all of these expected goals. The Rangers got up to... What in the world? 6.53? No way, dude. No way. The Wings... Y'all gotta keep on getting your offense to go. You can't be doing this and expecting to be able to make the playoffs. My gosh, okay, I thought the game was fine just from my very, you know, loose viewing, having it on in the background of my house, but apparently the advanced statistics say a lot otherwise. So the wings hung in there considering this was the chart. I'm kind of surprised they even got it to a 3-3 tie and eventual 4-3 loss where they had the empty net at the end of the game and were barely able to throw it on goal. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about each of these three teams. If you're a Caps fan, what are your thoughts on your 4-2 loss against the Hurricanes? And if you're a Philadelphia Flyers fan, what are your thoughts on Ivan Fedotov, his debut against Buffalo, and they lost 4-2? Thoughts in the comment section below for each of these three teams in the East. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.